What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM on the Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing alright. Today we're back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to my boy, Big Browdy. Big Browdy in the cut. Yo, 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 808 getting assaulted in a dark alley. In a dark alleyway. And, man, I don't, I don't want to say what I'm thinking right now. He get assaulted in a dark alleyway at night? I'm gonna judge and let me watch the live. See what's going on, alright? If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Help your boy get this show your boy some love. Hey, let's get it. Let's get into it. Okay. Working in food service sucks. Bro, like if YouTube went down in flames and I had to get a real job, you would catch me busting it down on OnlyFans before you catch me busting tables, okay? How are you gonna tell me to fry chips, clean the table, clean the toilets, wash it? Damn, yo yo. Sound like somebody punching your throat. You let me let me tell you, you need you need, you need some not need some bro? You need some lemon lime and some some lime. No, lemon lemon or lime, some honey and ah, what is that? Ginger. Oh drink some ginger tea, bro. You will stay. I knock you off. Or if you feel like you're getting sick prior, get on a nice piece of garlic, or not garlic, ginger, and just bite on it. It, it can burn the back of your throat like a bitch, but that's the cure for Corona. The dishes, stock the freezer, take out the trash, sweep the floor, mop the floor, all while simultaneously serving food. For so guess what? An hour. Oh. Like a phone tripod isn't five dollars. You freaking... would never oh. catch me slaving away at a job in the food industry, okay? I know my worth. So one night I was working a closing shift at a Chipotle, and I was on dish duty. And after you're done washing your shoes, you're supposed to have to sit. Hey, I'm gonna talk all that shit just to say. Anyway, at the end of closing shift. <laughs> hey, listen though, I'm not gonna cap, right? Um, some of y'all fast food people, I re I have respect for y'all, but some of y'all I don't respect some of y'all. So anyhow, let me take this time, right? So this is guy, right? Oh, let me say this guy. This time I order food, right? I order some food. I am going to lie to you. The re the restaurant is not that far. It's like a 15 minute walk, right? But it's nighttime, right? And I don't live in the best neighborhood. Let you know that from now. That's why every time I record, I be looking. I be beeping. I be looking this way. I be, I, I gotta keep my eye. This is a window. Hey, anyhow. So he comes to me and says, like, hey, bro, you know we're down the street, right? And I'm like, yeah. She, oh, you can come pick this up yourself next time. So I'm looking at him and I say, and you can mind your business and shut the fuck up next time too. No cap. And I just walk off. Hey, bro, you in my business? My business, bro. I pay you to do a service. Don't, 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 don't talk about, oh, next time if you come pick it up yourself. Bitch, I pay you. But I can't order from there no more. I'm scared you might spit my food. <laughs> <laughs> No cap. To do that, you gotta take out this sink filter thing, hold it, and let all the dirty water out, and then scoop the food out into a trash bag. Well, on this particular night, I was just trying to go home, and I really did not feel like waiting for the water to drain. So I grabbed a trash bag, took the tray, and dumped everything into it, and just kind of tossed the bag with the other trash bags, and made it someone else's problem. Because thankfully, I wasn't taking out the trash that day. I say thankfully. Because taking up the trash at night wasn't fun. Because the Chipotle I worked at was next to a lot of other restaurants. So instead of one dumpster, it was like a dumpster community. And since cooked food was constantly being thrown away, there was always something alive back there. Be it raccoons, possums, humans. And the lot was poorly lit too, so you couldn't see anything back there. But basically, it was not a place that I was getting paid enough to go to without something that I can effectively hit the game. No one liked yeah. taking out the trash at night. So me putting this soggy, heavy, smelly bag in the pile was mad and considerate. But so was 9.15 hours, so... You know. Exactly. So I continue cleaning and finally finish up for the day. And right as I'm about to clock out, yo, yo, can I ask you something? Uh, I'm about to leave, but yeah, what's up? Can you take out the trash for me? It's not like me. Trash. Uh, oh, yo, it's not like me. I just tell him, yo, if, if it's two minutes... I said, this conversation ain't free, you know. I said, these people stopped paying me two minutes ago. Your, your time to ask me question has expired. I don't have. I don't like you that much to have a free conversation with you. Bye. And I mean that. Oh, Mary was on trash. Something happened at home and she had to go early. Please, bro. The, the dumpster is right there. Oh. oh no, man. Why are you looking out the window like? Are, are you scared? Whoa, who's scared? Now you bet. Here you go. Thank you. Did, did you take up the trash? Yep. 
And I remember that episode of Spongebob. Yeah. The high swing slasher. Now what? Night, 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 night. Well, of course not. <laughs> cool. Well, while you're ready, there are three more bags. Thanks. Bye. Three more. Well, I go to the back room and I'm greeted by three more bags. And I'm thinking, and bro, dirty. I'm still out of breath from taking out the first bag. Now I gotta take out three more? I do not need to be here. A ring light is only 15. I can start to take them out one by one. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm running, okay? I'm literally in an alleyway at midnight. I don't want my first merch drop to be an RIP shirt. So I quickly take out two of the bags. Cool. I go to grab the last bag and immediately I realize that I messed up because I tried to lift it and the bag is wet. Oh, it busts open. This is the bag with the wet food in it from earlier. Oh, no. I wasn't going to be able to run with this bag because it was so heavy and fragile. So I grab it with both hands, lift it up, and the stench from the bag was unbearable. So much to the point where I had to <sighs> mouth breathe. So I'm making my way to the trash. Oh, that's even worse, man. The scent getting in your mood. Come on, man. Uh, listen, I just, that's why I do. Anytime I'm using the bathroom, listen, I don't talk. Anybody you call me, you have to call me when they come. Cause I have this theory. I feel like when you talk it, the scent is going in your mouth so you can start tasting the shit. And I don't want to taste shit, so I just keep my mouth closed. And I just hold my breath. Like I take like short little breaths because sometimes I've been blowing it up. Fucking dark road is a lot longer and darker when you're not running at full speed. But this bag was a ticking time bomb, so I keep going. I finally reach the trash can. I sling the bag over my shoulder. I swing to throw it in. The bag. Rips, my nose hairs start milli rocking, bro. It was so bad. I like felt it in my head. Worse than that, there was food everywhere, bro. The floor, the cars, I see a guy walking towards me, the dumpster, my shoes, my hair. What? I see what? I look down the alleyway and I see this dude looking dead at me and just slowly walking in my direction. But I can't leave this food here or I can get fired. You can what? As fast as possible. All while I keep glancing at bro and he's just staring at me, walking mad slow as if he knows he can catch me before I finish cleaning. He gets closer and closer and I, I'm just grabbing stuff with my hands at this point. I gotta finish before he reaches me, but I can't just pick up these tiny grains of rice because it's not working, it's not working. So I'm like working as fast as I can, but finally I finish cleaning. I turn around to leave and I hear, hey, I keep walking. Hey you, hello, hello, hello? hey, uh, I found a charger, it's a phone charger. You need a charger? He says that as he's still walking towards me. Nah, nah, I'm good, thanks. I keep walking, but I notice bro is only using the charger to get close to me because even after the conversation is over, he doesn't stop walking to me. And I notice that he has one of his hands in his pocket and I'm thinking, I gotta get out of here now before the next Yo-Yo 808 notification you get on your phone. It's an Amber Alert, but I can't panic because I'm still decently far away from the restaurant. So I try to test him to make sure that he's following me and that I'm not tripping. So here's the test. We're walking like this and I speed up to get to the other side of the trash can and he does exactly what I hoped he wouldn't do. He changes direction and right there, I knew that this dude was chasing me because that's the only logical reason he would change directions like that. So now he knows that I know that he wants to get to me. So he starts running at me and bro, my scroll. Let listen. Hey, I saw Mary. Go on, don't watch me. I fed off. Boy, listen. Oh, look at What? Boy, and the dude coming close to me? Stop freaking out. I punch in this dude in his face. Bro, I kicking this nigga in his nuts, bro. I swear to God, but I, no homo, no homo. If this dude, hey, if I, hey, I'll grip that nigga, but hey, I'll kick that nigga ball so far, be trolled, he'll be smelling anyway. Bro, you, I don't care. You running towards me in the alley. My boy, we gotta throw a fade. No cap. Hey, bro, I swear. Of my body because how does a dude go from walking like this to blood sprint. sprinting and this dude has the burners yo I scream I run towards the fence <laughs> grab it then I can jump over it Ugh. I clear it and then I beeline it 
to the kitchen. I tell my manager that I'm done and that I want to go home. I don't even waste time telling him about the guy because I just want to get out of here. My shift ended like 30 minutes ago. So I clock out and leave. But at this time, I couldn't drive. So I call an Uber and just wait outside by a pillow. Outside? I hear the guy from the trash can driving his feet and walking slowly. I guess he decided he wants to walk now. He walks past me and just stands at the front of the Chipotle, almost as if he's waiting for me to come out. And I'm standing literally right next to him. I remain as still as possible because the Uber was still like five minutes away and I did not want to budge because I don't want to alert him. I just stand there and wait for my Uber and I hope that this guy doesn't see me because all he has to do is take like two steps to the right and I'm right in his field of vision. The five minutes felt like five hours, but finally, and Uber pulls up, I dash to the car, he sees me, but we both know it's too late. And as the car drives off, we just make intense eye contact, and I see him disappear into the darkness. I haven't seen this guy since, but honestly, I could just tell it was bad news. Like, to this day, I wonder what would have happened had he actually got me in the parking lot. And I also wonder what would have happened if that girl who was supposed to take up the trash took it out. Honestly, oh, if something happened to her, it would have been my fault because I'm the one who left the heavy bag in the back. Oh, the thought man. still haunts me to this day. If I could give you a moral to this story, it would be, bro, a Blue Yeti mic is like $40. <laughs> you best if you take you know I'm a whip dad. I break them off like a Kit Kat. I'm up the door like a wig snatch. My chopper loaded. That shit got some kickback. Uh, uh, uh. I'm coming to test you. We're gonna flex this. I'm in the cups like tetanus. Lay a nigga down in a butt because I like playing Tetris. So you niggas can find me. I got a cat like a bottle of sign. My niggas walk around with the slugs on them like they part of the sign. Uh, uh, uh. You said he talking, my nigga. The fuck is you getting that? I got some shooters and they said he walking my... Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Yo, those comments... The end of part will be lit. I don't know why. But yo... Listen, listen, I don't care, bro. Listen, I said, dude, I like to fight, bro. Me and this nigga, listen, me and this nigga would have been in the parking lot throwing a fed, bro. Once I see this nigga get a weapon, listen, let me tell you, if this nigga ain't get a weapon, I, mean, I can fight this dude. What you, bro, listen, I will, uh, listen, hold up. You still outside? Wait, don't move, don't move. Hey, bro, where you is? I on the road. Slide by the Chick-fil-A. I mean the Chipotle. Slide by. Pick me up and work. But this nigga outside, he tweaking. Squad deeper niggas. And I can walk up to you. Ah, uh, that thing going now, big boy. You ran behind me inside the parking lot? Who was it? Hey, I ain't all this talking, big boy. Slap him what? Slap him too? Nah, now nah, what you trying to do? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? Big man, hey, what? But deep down, I'd be scared as a bitch. <laughs> I can lie, bro. I would have break off running. Oh my gosh. Hey, what? I mean, that dude had to throw a fed in that pocket lot. I don't know you know what. You running me at me for a big boy? In a dark, bro, bro. You getting slapped just because you make me run. I tired and I don't like running for no reason. I can slap you just. I can do like how the blazers do. I can beat you because you make me run and you don't get no drugs on you. What you think? Oh, stop playing. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. I'll slap. But anyway, I think, yo, yo. <laughs> let, me, let, let me say that like, <laughs> I think it's a blue yeti cost like $40. I ain't gonna lie though. I got my blue yeti right there. Hey, you gotta make something work, bro. <laughs> this 9 to 5 ain't it, bro. Uh, but I love the video, man. Shouts out to. Yo, once again, man, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, right, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. The original link of the video, wait, I said it wrong. The original link, yeah, the original link to the video will be down below. Show my boy some love. Yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome day, man. Be happy, be blessed. And remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.